Tucker. Tucker. You can St. John to Ada You can St. John to Ada Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tucker, I found her. And, uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was going to be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Tuck? Why? Is something wrong? I mean, is there some reason she wouldn't want to come back? No. No, of course not. It's just... A kid like Rose, she doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. Well, I don't know, Tuck. Maybe she does. St. John out. Later, Deke. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley? Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Work supply before Blair? Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, he got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women, I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Here for your bike? Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, Deacon. Out.
use this. Got it. <sighs> Not so hard. That did it. Good night. At last. can sell this. Ugh. <laughs> 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 
scrap. Hey, Ricky, I'm at Camp Pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. Find this guy. Peeking out. Where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Disrespect Red Riley and walk away. No, sir. Well, I mean, she Who's don't care. She ain't got no goddamn head left. <laughs> and it's a She had it coming. You know. 
know the time! Uh, Save the asshole! Uh, Kill him! Kill him! This'll do. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. 
Bye. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. You need something? Hey, how's life? Probably draining a lot of gas riding the broken road. Need fuel? Bike's looking pretty busted. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, let me in. Open it up. He's okay. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh-huh. You remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Ricky. Yeah? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck, what's up? Hey, you remember al Kai said that Rippers were spotted? Heading our hey, way? Back to work. Yeah, I remember. Hey, no, you no, no, said no, you don't. didn't try to stop him. No. We've God seen him scouting the hot spots. <laughs> A couple of men followed him back to their camp, in the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn rivers. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of them. I got a score, so... A score? What are you talking about? God, ne never mind. I'm gonna stretch my legs for a while. Hey, a deacon, right? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Wait a sec, I got it. I've been pretty busy.
Yeah? Go at it, fellas. Your name, Nobody asshole. Never be 
Tucker, you there? You didn't gotta worry about that Ripper camp no more. I took care of him, every last one of them. Nice job. It sounds like you did have a score to settle. Alkai said there's rumors going around that the Rippers are after the Biker Boys. Let's just say they fucked with the wrong guy, Deacon out. Make something out of this fuel. Wait, he's okay. Open up. If it ain't my best customer. Manny? Yeah, it is hard to find fuel out there. All right. You looking for something? Should have more stuff later. I was in my classroom. Alright, see you, Deke. You know. Hey, Deke, how's it going? I taught English. 
Damon, how's it going? Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Jazzy, how's my girl? Okay, then. Hey, stay sharp out there. I don't want to lose my best bounty hunter. You got that? That's it for now. I just settle for some fresh venison stew. In St. John. Good luck. Hey, Damon. Open the gate. I know him. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got march duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Who's that? Bounty. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of him. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. 
riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Brought me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I always closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. <laughs> All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. <laughs> Need this? I 
I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit, you hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. When I was out in the shit a few months back, we saw a bunch of freaks. Damn horde. You think they group together like that for a reason? I mean, like a community or something? No. The mines are gone. I remember reading about it, the virus, I mean, before. It does something to the brain from all over or something. Amen. Hello. Bringing in some bounties? Uh, yep. Howdy. How's it going? Oh, Here for your bike? Having a look. Is that okay? All right. I got you. Sure. All right. Try to make forever a day or two, will ya? This thing is completely broken. 